Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. I already installed Laravel 9 into my system and you can see this is the Laravel 9 folder and the application is running in my browser and using PHP Artisan Serve we can run the server, right? And I already discussed what is the related uh, dependencies and what is the system dependency that is what is the minimum php version and how install this i already explained now after installing laravel application we will get this type of things right so this is the folders and this is some files so what is their purpose and how these are used so i will discuss each and everything now right so first things is the app folder so what is actually the app folder right so actually app directory contains the core code of your application maximum things so if you using laravel 9 if you developing your application with laravel 9 maximum times you need these type of things right we know that laravel 9 using the mbc pattern so mbc means is model view controller so inside the app folder you will get the models folder so inside this folder we can uh, create our models and you can create our directory structure and we will discuss on that but inside the models we need to store all the models and inside this same app folder we will get the HTV folder and inside this HTV folder we will get controllers and in the controllers we can store all our controllers file and just go to the root again and you will get the resource folder and inside the resource will get views right so mbc pattern is ready and you should use this pattern and this is the common pattern of uh, laravel 9 and inside the app folder so we are discussing what is inside the app folder so inside the app folder we can get uh, there are different type of actually directory right so such as a uh, console exceptions http models provider so why are the different different folder and what is the purpose of that things actually console and http directories uh, as providing an api into the core of your application and the std protocol and the cli are both mechanism to interact with your application but do not actually contain the application logic so in other words you can say there are two ways of issuing comments to your application the console directory contents all of your artisan comments so this is actually new installed so we can see right now and we can discuss about these things later while the http directory contains your controller middleware right so all the request type of things uh, that means when you request something it will directly comes to controller and it can uh, directly comes to the middleware right so all the request type of things are stored in the http right and uh, there is exceptions and the exception directly contains your application exception handler and it also a good place to place in exceptions thrown your application so when you develop your application or already live your application and if you get any exceptions that can be stored in that folder right so if you would like to customize how your exception logged or rendered you should modify the handler class into the directory right so if you just go to the exceptions page you will get the handler.php actually this is a class file so you can uh, customize your exceptions right and the next thing is models i already discussed is all the models will store inside here and the last thing is the providers so what is actually the providers it, this directory actually contains all of your service provider of your application right so like app service provider auth service provider or broadcaster service provider event routes so all those things are uh, stored into this provider folder right so app is uh, complete now just uh, move to the root directory and you will get the bootstrap folder so what is inside the bootstrap folder actually bootstrap file contains the app.php right which bootstraps the framework so this is the laravel framework this directory contains app.php file which bootstrap your framework and this directory also have another folder that is the cache folder actually this contains framework generated files 
for performance optimization such as route, uh, service, cache file, right. So, you should not typically need to modify any files within this directory, it will actually manage your application, right. And next is config folder by name you can understand you will get different type of configuration setting in this folder like app.php, auth.php, broadcasting, cache, course, database, right. So, if you simply open the database.php, I already opened in Visual Studio course, if you just go to the config and database.php, you will get uh, just for demo purpose, I will not go in deep. So, if you want to set in your database, by default it is saying uh, the default connection is MySQL and if you want to pass anything like SQLite or if you use PGSQL, you can directly pass this. So, this is the database configuration file and you can configure your database from here, right. And if you just uh, go to the next folder uh, like um, lang folders. So, before Laravel 9, this lang folder is not in root directory, in Laravel 9, its lang folder is in root directory. Basically, these are uh, using for localization of your application. Suppose, if you are using a Spanish uh, application or any, any your local language application, you can create a folder for that file. So, by default, this is the en that means English language is uh, using and if you want to create your own language, you can create a different folder and you can use that. It is basically using for localization, right. And the next thing is the public directory. So, what is the purpose of directory? Actually, uh, public directory contains the index.p, this is the important file which is the entry point of your all request entering your application and configure auto loading, right. This directory also may have a uh, image or JavaScript or CSS which you uh, need for your application, right. And the next is a resource. In the resource, you know, this is the views file. Inside the views, you will create all your views file. And Laravel 9 actually, actually not Laravel 9 only, Laravel using uh, default blade templating engineering. So, if you just create any view file, you should uh, write uh, suppose your view file name dot blade dot php, right. And you have the CSS JS file, right. So, basically this CSS and JS file will never compile. Actually, the uncompiled assets such as CSS and JavaScript you can store inside your resource, right. And the next is routes. This is the one of the most important folder of your application. If you want to create any things into your Laravel application, you should use this routes folder. There are actually four type of routes that is the API routes, web routes, channels and console. So, I will say you what is actually doing here. So, if you just go to the Visual Studio code, you can see uh, there is four type of routes and if you check the route service provider, so just search route service provider, actually uh, these are inside this service provider app providers and here you can see uh, inside the route service provider we will get the two things, these are using the two types of middleware, though you will not understand clearly, I will uh, show you in later. But uh, you can say that the web.php this is the routes and these are using the web middleware and uh, api.php is using the api middleware, right. So, I will discuss about uh, that things later means what is middleware and what are those things and actually the purpose of that thing. So, why we need different, different types of routes. Actually, the web.php contains the routes that the route service provider plays in the web middleware group, right. So, this is actually middleware group and these are using the route service provider and which provides the session state or uh, CSRA protection, cookie encryptions, right. So, this type of things will use in web.php and api.php will also using the same route service provider and using the api middleware, right. So, these routes are intended to be stateless. So, request entering the application through these routes are intended to be authenticated via tokens, right. And will not have access to session state means 
if you uh, create your simple login logout system for your application or if you want to use the sessions related things that should be in the web.php so mind it it is the important things so if you are going to use your sessions for uh, login logout purpose or any kind of things you should define your routes inside the web.php and if you want to create any api or if you want to communicate or authenticate via tokens that time you can use api.php right so these two are very important for development and the next two things also are important so if you just check channel.php this file you may register all of your event broadcasting so i'll discuss about that things later what is broadcasting and the next thing is console.php so you may define all of your closer based console comments like so each closer is bound to a comment instance allowing a simple approach to interacting with each commands input output methods right so these are the four type of routes inside the laravel and the next few files are left that is the storage so this is another important directory so storage directory contains your uh, logs frameworks and apps right so the app directory is used to store any files generated by your application so you don't need to write anything inside your storage folder so all these files are maintaining by frameworks and the framework directory is used to store a framework generated file and cache and finally the logs directory contains your application logs files so you can see inside the storage all the things are basically related to your application framework and it's automatically generated right and the next part is the test this test directory contains of your auto the test directory contains your automated test is uh, right if you create any test case the uh, file name always should be suffix with test right if you create unit testing and example test.php and if you create a feature test example test.php means always the file should be a test right and the last folder is vendor so you don't need to write anything in the vendor basically all our composer dependencies so when i install my laravel application you you can see that in our previous video i already installed and that time you can see there are lots of files are downloading extracting installing right so this will store inside the vendors folder right so this is all about the laravel directory structure and there are some others file like Artisan, Composer, Composer Logs, what are those things, right? So if you just go again and let's open step by step, right? So first of all, we'll get the environment .env file, right? So as we are using the database, the database related things can be managed from here. And as you can see the database connection is MySQL that's actually receiving from here. Actually, this .env file is related to database.php also you can set any of your environment file uh, like broadcasting driver cache driver file system disk queue connection and there are many types of things like if you want to integrate your uh, mail system then you can integrate from here also if you want to integrate aws then you can uh, set it from here also there are lots of things and if you want to create some things new you can uh, store into here also right so this is the env file and this is the env.example actually if you are new this is actually the guideline how dot env dot example is actually setting right so you can check that also and the next thing is git ignore git attributes actually if you want to use any git related files then uh, these are uh, is actually coming and the next is artisan actually these are the files uh, to register your auto loader right so composer provides a convenient automatically generated class loader for your application we just need to utilize it we will require it into your script here so that we do not have to worry about actually these are uh, written for this file purpose right and the next part is composer json this is the important file what is the composer json 
actually you can see when we install our application name was laravel slash laravel and type is a project and this is the laravel project and here you can see all the dependencies which i need to run my application right so suppose if you are uh, going to up or if you're going to live your application that time your server should be same as the requirement right you should install your composer.json in there and their requirement should be same so that your application will run with no problem right and this is the composer log file so you will get all the things related to you suppose if you are using uh, suppose same term 2.14.1 and if same term need any dependencies that time that can be stored into this file also right so all the dependencies will get in the composer log and the last important file is package.json file so this is the most important things and you can uh, create your package.json and here you can write your uh, command so if you want to uh, create your custom commands you can write and you can uh, uh, install some dependencies here here so there is no other dependency installed that there is a dependency array is not present but uh, there is dev dependencies means it will not uh, actually need for your application uh, when you will develop your application this dev dependency is needed right so these are all types of files and folder for your laravel 9 application and hope you like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we'll show you some example and we'll create some links and we'll create and we'll know what is the routes and how routes is actually working so we'll start coding from the next day also right so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day